How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be talking about how we monetize my Instacart channel in just like three months. We started this channel right at the very, very end of November, so it was basically December, and we got monetized right at the very end of February. So in just three months we were able to build an entire YouTube channel, gain an audience, and start generating some income, and this is pretty difficult to do. In this niche, this is extremely awesome because it pays a lot more per view. And the best part is it's actually like my job right now. So I get to just record what I do and make some extra money and make some friends. So the very first thing that you guys need in order to make this happen, you guys need some gear. So I will have some links down below. They are affiliate links, but they are things that I recommend. They won't cost you any extra to use those links, by the way, it just helps support the channel. One of the very first things that you guys will need is a camera. In reality, it's the only thing you need, but there are a few other things that might help you out. Another thing that might be helpful is a mic, like a lav mic that you could hook up. Or if you guys are just using your phone, maybe like a selfie stick or something to help make things a little easier to record. So really all you guys need is something like a GoPro or a phone. Maybe get a fisheye lens if you guys are using a phone so things aren't just so like narrow. And then you guys need like an SD card if you guys are using a camera and then maybe a nicer mic which personally I haven't even got a nicer mic yet and I'm probably on my way to do that because we're gonna be making some money now. All right, so let's go to the next topic and I'm actually about to be doing an order. So I'll see you on the other side. All right, so next up you guys are gonna need the knowledge. And yes, I have a bookshelf in my garage full of knowledge. All right, on a real note, if you guys are gonna be doing YouTube, you guys have to figure out how the platform works. And no, I'm not selling a course or anything. It's just you guys gotta get on YouTube and start researching how the YouTube algorithm works and what you guys need to do to edit videos and do Photoshop. I can't exactly teach all that in this video, but what I can say is you guys really need to learn how to use Photoshop or find some like free alternative like GIMP to make some nice profile pictures, banners, and thumbnails. Thumbnails are where I put most of my effort in. As you guys could probably see by the editing of my videos, it's really simple but I try and make a very eye-catching thumbnail. I don't always succeed, but the thumbnail is how you get people to click on the video, and then the video is how you get people to stay on the video. So that's just something to keep in mind. All right, now that your head is full of the knowledge, you guys need to actually go through and create a channel. I feel like this is a pretty obvious one because you guys have to have a channel in order to post videos, but yes, you need to make one. I think one of the main things that helped me grow as fast as I did was just making as much content as possible right off the bat. So I made like several videos in one day and then just scheduled them to upload daily for a while until I started getting a real audience and then I could focus on quality videos. At the very beginning, I was kind of just making like simple vlogs. I wasn't making how-to videos, but that is a very important topic and we're going to talk about that in just a little. That was really important for my channel to actually get growth in the beginning was uploading daily. I just tried to basically vomit out as much content as I possibly could. So whenever you went to my channel, you could see that yes, I do have a lot of content. It's not just one video. The chances of people coming back and actually subscribing is a lot higher if they see that you have a lot of content out there and that you're gonna continue to keep pushing out videos. This is the most difficult part about making a new channel is you guys are gonna make a ton of videos and they're gonna get like two views. So my videos weren't getting a lot of traction but I started to have more on my page and my channel just started to look like something that was real. It wasn't just one or two videos. They could see that I was continuing to produce videos. Now, this is where the next step comes into play and this is very important. And that's how you grow your audience when you guys have a really small channel and you're not getting a lot of views yet. So stay tuned for that. So after my videos were getting a couple views here and there, I, I decided it was time to step up my game. Everyone says whenever you start a YouTube channel that you guys have to utilize Reddit. And boy, did that help me. Now the trick is with using Reddit, you guys have to find the right subreddit because not all subreddits want your videos flying around because they look at it as self-promotion, which technically it is. But there are flares in some subreddits that allow you to post your own videos. This is huge because your videos are reaching the exact audience that they need. So as soon as I started doing this, I gained a few subscribers that have been sticking with me throughout my entire process of creating this channel. We actually grew a very small community and we also found a ton of haters. 
a ton. No one wanted to see me making money on the subreddit for Instacart, and yeah, after a lot of heated arguments, I got reported enough that one of the moderators banned me. So yeah, Reddit worked for a little, and then I was out of there and banned. But the good news is I came out of Reddit with a small audience, and that was all I needed to start this channel. All right, so now I'm in the middle of doing an order, but uh, next topic. So after I was able to gain an audience on Reddit, I just kept uploading daily to keep them entertained and show that I was serious. So once again, I was still uploading daily for a small amount of time, and this was a lot of work, but gradually I noticed a slight increase in views per video. So finally, the snowball effect started. All right, now, uh, Let's load this order up. So finally I reached a point where things started to plateau and I was making some views but not enough to really meet my goals. It would have taken up to a year to get monetized at my current rate, so I had to do some brainstorming. A lot of my previous success on YouTube has come through how-to videos. And it just so happens Instacart is like a job so a lot of people have questions. Instacart itself doesn't have the best tutorials to teach you how to do Instacart. So that's where channels like mine come into play. We're able to create things like how to do certain orders, how to do Costco orders, how to check IDs whenever you're dropping off at the door, and these are things that a lot of Instacart shoppers need. So of course, whenever you make a video like that, the click-through rate, whenever they see a nice thumbnail, is super high because it's exactly what they need and want. As soon as I started doing this, we tapped into the beauty called search views. This is when people are just actively searching up how to do Instacart Costco orders. And since we have a video on that topic, people just click on it. It's easy views. So from there, I made several videos and finally I found this little topic, this even smaller niche inside of Instacart that performed extremely well for the time being. And this all came down to timing. Instacart recently had an update that has just been extremely annoying to most shoppers. Now with this annoyance, a lot of people wanted to look up why in the world is Instacart doing this update and how can I make money with this update still? And that's when I found this Instacart update genre of videos. So I made a bunch of these. Probably too many if we're being honest, but we drilled into this topic very hard because we needed to get to that 4,000 watch hour mark to get monetized. All right, so I'm doing another order, but uh, let's talk about another thing. So I really only drilled into these topics for a couple of weeks and my channel basically only looked like the same videos over and over again, but they all got a lot of really good views, which helped push me to the, the 4,000 watch hours that I needed to get monetized. And like really it only takes a few like popular videos to get monetized here on YouTube. So from there I just relied on the views to get me to the sub count that I needed and we just recently hit a thousand subscribers. But at the last minute something crazy happened guys. We started getting shout outs from some of the people that inspired me to start my channel in the first place. So a special thanks to a few of these people for the free shout outs. I appreciate it so much and you guys are part of the reason why I was able to get monetized in the first place. And just a quick disclaimer, my channel would have been monetized pretty fast without these shout outs. So it's not like you guys have to rely on something like that happening, but those shout outs did help me reach it faster, which was awesome. So yeah, that is the story of how my channel went from zero subscribers to over 1,000 subscribers and the snowball effect is just taking place and things are getting better and better on this channel. The views are coming in, we're getting more comments, and we are growing an audience extremely fast and one of the best niches on YouTube. Anything to do with finance on YouTube pays pretty well since people are more willing to pay for knowledge in this niche. And with the decline of my income on Instacart, this channel is gonna help overcome some of the hurdles that we've been facing with this Instacart update. So that is the journey. Hopefully you guys are able to find this video helpful. And if you guys did, make sure you guys slap that like button down below and consider subscribing and turning on those notifications. This is basically the path that you guys should follow if you guys wanna create a channel like mine. So good luck guys, get out there, start making some content because I promise you in the future, you guys won't regret it. Have a good one guys.